Our next guest is on top of all the new trends in the fashion world, and she's just all around a fabulous woman. And she knows when some old classics are back in style as well. Please welcome back to the show our good friend from the Mall of America, Sarah <laughs> Rogers. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Jason. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me this morning. No, thank you for being here. So we have four looks that are back. Yes. In, okay, but can we set the table here before we see any of okay. this? I mentioned this little line uh, to our friend Alex Kendall, and I want to see if you agree with this. And the line okay. is, if you wore it the first time, you shouldn't wear it the second time. Where do you stand on that? I, I kind of agree with that. I think you don't have to wear it the second time. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but you can. But if you wore it the first time, you don't have to wear it the second time. So. Bro broadly speaking, Sarah, before we see the models, what time period is back? Which What period are we talking about? We're talking about mostly the 60s, a little bit of the 70s. Uh, one item, I think, even from the 50s, 1950s. Okay, I love the 50s. Sarah, I've never asked you this. What is your favorite era of style? Mine's the 40s and 50s. Ooh, that's, I would say Chanel is one of my favorite designers. So it would probably be her era. I think that is somewhere around the 20s, 30s. Yeah. Okay. 20s, 30s. Look number one, what do we have? It's crochet? Yes, the crochet knit trend is huge. And that's a trend that really never really went away. But it experienced a big boom, I think, in the 60s, and it's just been going on and really picked up steam this season. Uh, our model, Elise, is wearing the crocheted skirt from Cotton On. Uh, I fell in love with all the colors uh, that you see in there. And I will say that model is very familiar to us. That is a former Jason show. I think show. it'd be fun to work with in your wardrobe. I have it with, uh, that's, enter. That's what I heard. She's a former <laughs> Jason Show intern. Yes. We love her. Yes, she told me. Lucky her. She got to work with the team there. I love her too. She's truly really been awesome to work with. Well, that outfit is great. I mean, I, I that is a trend I, I do like. I won't be wearing that, but you know, anyway. Number two, floral prints. Yes, I get it. Yes, okay. Jason, prints are everything. Certainly floral prints, and yeah, they're a perennial favorite, but the prints we're seeing this season really are reminiscent of the 1960s. You'll even see Pucci-inspired prints, and many of you know Pucci as that Italian designer that had the nickname that was known as the Prince of Prints because his prints are so prominent, but they're fun. These shorts are from Zara. Uh, and you'll see, you know, shorts, skirts, tops. It's 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 all out there for you. I like these shorts because they kind of remind me of a pinup girl, uh, and that would be, you know, dating back to the 40s and 50s. So we're seeing, of course, an abundance of short styles out here uh, in fashion. But I really like those a little bit higher waist, and they look great with that bodysuit. <clears throat> Excuse me, the bodysuit too. I'm all glad. From Zara. I'm glad you mentioned the waist because I'm noticing that. With women, I, I referenced these two lovely ladies who I saw yesterday in the neighborhood. Even with the jeans, Sarah, is the high waist in in a variety of ways, the, the higher waist? Yes, yes. And Jason, I don't see that slowing down either for the remainder of the season. I am seeing, you know, the mid rise coming back in too for jeans. So ladies that like that silhouette better, uh, you're going to have options. But that high waist is quite prevalent. Okay, let's talk accessories. What do we have? Yes, okay, a key accessory, scarves. Uh, and they are worn in a myriad of ways. Uh, I wanted to show you one with Elise wearing it as a headband, uh, but ladies are wearing this in so many different ways. Think of Audrey Hepburn, think of Jacqueline Kennedy style. So it tied in a triangle and, and worn, you know, it's a head scarf. So there are a lot of ways to have fun with, with um, the scarf this season. And even worn as tops. I, a lot of tops are made out of scarves this season too. So really fun. Her top is a muscle tank too. So, you know, a little bit of that shoulder padding um, is really popular too. Saw so a lot of that on the catwalk. And then that wide leg silhouette too is a lot of fun too. Those jeans are from the buckle. 
Elise looks so Jackie Kennedy Onassis. You're right. It is very, it's the Onassis. Did she? I loved it. It's the Onassis years, Sarah. It totally, <laughs> from the glasses to the <laughs> scarf, it is the Onassis years. It's true. It's true. It's, you know, anybody that's old school, it's a, a nice little throwback. And I think the way to pull off, you know, some of these retro trends is to keep, you know, everything else pretty classic, if you will, and yeah. go for that one exclamation point in your outfit. That'll be the easiest way to get on board and not look like you got just stuck in that era. And finally, maxi. Yes. Oh, the maxi dress. That was something that, you know, also never really went away, had its heyday, late 60s, early 70s. But this season, oh, ladies are loving it. This one from the Express Store, it has the smocking detail. I'm seeing a lot of that. Ladies are loving that too because it gives it shape. It's not so much about that baby doll shape. It's more about, you know, definition. It has that beautiful floral sleeve. Uh, I'm seeing silhouettes that have cutouts too. This one happens to have a little leg slit, so adds a little bit of a you know sexy line there with a hint of your leg coming out and shoes from Aldo. Sarah, I, I see a trend here. I think next time uh, we should have intern Kenny be your model. Just all, we just all the models <laughs> should be former interns of our show. I would love it. I love it, <laughs> Sarah. Always good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. And as always, all of these looks are available at one of my second homes, the Mall O America.